Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the get and set control rotation nodes? So we're going to go ahead and look at this giant mess of nodes here. Now we're only going to cover the set control rotation node and the get control rotation nodes. However, we need this entire mess to show how it works. And as an example, I'm going to hit play. Here's my character who can look around. I'm looking at this sphere and I have a cube behind me. If I was to hit my R button, it's actually going to flip me 180 degrees. Useful for maybe a quick look or something like that. But we have to use the set control rotation node because setting the actor's actual rotation doesn't work as expected because we're using a controller. So if you've ever run into the issue where you're trying to do something with your character, you're trying to move them or adjust them, but your player has control over it, and you're using a character controller and the character movement, it's because you're not allowed to override the actual rotation itself directly. Let me show you that. So here's my button that I can press. And here's Add Actor World Rotation. We're going to basically take the current rotation of this actor and add 180 degrees. We'll hit play. I'll hit my button. And nothing's happening. Okay. Okay. We'll do Add World Rotation, targeting the capsule. We'll hit R, same result. Okay, maybe it's add actor local rotation instead of world. And we'll go ahead and hit R, same result. Okay, we'll try this one. We'll set it directly. We'll go ahead and grab our current rotation. We'll grab 180 degrees on the Z and we'll set it directly. We'll hit play. And well, as you can expect, the same result. We can't set the rotation because the controller is controlling the rotation. Inside of our character, we're telling it to take the rotation from the controller itself. And that's where our issue comes in. Our controller knows what its rotation should be. And when we set the rotation on the actor, it's going to ignore it. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of these nodes that are useless to us. We'll go ahead and just come back down here. So now we have the set control rotation node. It targets a player controller because it needs to know which controller it needs to rotate because it's a control rotation. And it's going to take in by default, if we were to recombine or struct, a new rotation. Now in this case, I want to go ahead and adjust my current rotation by adding 180 degrees on the yaw. So it's going to turn me 180 degrees or basically turn me backwards. And we go ahead and play this. I'll be looking at this sphere, I'll hit R, and now our character is backwards. And if I go forward, I move towards the cube, I hit R, forward, I move towards the sphere. So it's not just rotating the mesh, for example, or the capsule, it's rotating the controller, and that controller is then adjusting the way our character is looking. Now, we have the git control rotation and the git control rotation nodes, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, this is kind of silly. Well, yeah, it is. I don't really know why it's set up like this. If we actually look under the palette, library, and then pawn, and we scroll down under pawn, you can find get control rotation, get control rotation, and, well, you can't find set control rotation. If we actually look, set control rotation as of this time is going to be under pawn, but it's targeting the controller. So, yeah, it's really weird right now. What matters is... This is going to target the controller. You have two different versions. The get control rotation targeting the pawn and the get control rotation targeting the controller. They're going to do the same thing. The biggest difference is this one will allow you to run it without a cast inside the pawn. Then it will automatically tell itself to get the player controller, which is basically this node, and do the same thing. So, I mean, we could have always done this, for example. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. We'll plug this into here. We Instead of getting the actor rotation, we're just going to get the control rotation. This is probably the smarter way of doing it anyways because you're getting the actual controller rotation and then setting it in the same frame. And we'll hit R, and we're going to have an issue. And the issue for that is I did not put in 180 degrees. And we'll hit R again, and there we go. Now it flips around like we expect. The biggest difference on this one is rather than getting the actor's rotation, which maybe it's been adjusted for some reason, our controller, 
since we're using a character movement and we're using a controller to control our character. I know I've said controller a lot, but remember we're using Unreal Engine's systems to move this character. We're going to want to use Unreal Engine systems and nodes to adjust that character as needed. So we're going to grab our control rotation, so the rotation of our controller currently, adjust it, and then set it again. And this is how you would manipulate the rotation of a character using a controller inside of Unreal Engine. And that's it. That's our get and set control rotation nodes. Remember the proper ones are going to take in a player controller, the one you want to adjust, and then the new values.